What's up, witches and warlocks? Puma Fist here. The lazy Sunday rant, and boy, man, what a fucking weekend it's been. So I'm sure you saw my video, uh, <laughs> you know, about hooking up with the uh, the hot Latina, the Latinx uh, chick. So that went well. Although, I have to say, I didn't contact her after she fucking left. I haven't heard back, so who knows. It probably just is what it is. The stars were aligned. Everything was fucking working in my favor. Worked out. Hey, I'm not complaining. <laughs> I'm not complaining. So, we'll see. Maybe she'll hit me up at some point, but I'm not going to contact her. It's the whole game thing. Blah, 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 blah. Anyway. So, last night... <laughs> Funny enough, I'm out at the same fucking bar, right? Uh, I went to my D&D &D game, and, oh, uh, le let me let me backtrack here. My D&D &D game, I play it every fucking Saturday night, right? Uh, right now we're doing Theros, uh, which is the Magic the Gathering fucking setting. You know, it's supposed to be like Ancient Greece or whatever. So my DM was all hot and bothered wanting to play this shit. Dude, this game's fucking brutal. We played like seven sessions. All of our care we've we've had like total party wipes, like fucking five times now out of seven sessions. It's fucking brutal, dude. What are you What are you doing? Why are you fucking killing us, man? Uh, the last D and D game uh, we played with this guy, dude. Our our group fucking rock and roll, dude. Uh, no fucking problems all the way up to twentieth level. This game. Shit, we're only third level right now, and it's a fucking struggle. God damn it. Damn it, dude. Stop fucking killing us. Ugh. Problem with the Theros setting is, is that, like, okay, so you get, like, piety and stuff like that. Uh, there's gods and shit that, uh, you know, just like the Greek gods. And they bestow gifts upon you, right? And you kind of have to follow in their ethos. Uh, they give you these piety points, and depending on your piety points, you get certain perks. Um, and that kind of takes up the place of, like, magical items and stuff like that that you normally get in a normal D&D &D game. So, we're, like, fucking really underpowered here. And he's still throwing shit at us like it was our last group. Uh, I digress. Fuck, man. This goddamn Theros game is fucking brutal. So, anyway. Um, had, had the game last night. It was already in a fucking bad mood. We had another fucking total party wipe. Now we're, now we're like a bunch of slaves to fucking gnolls. <laughs> so I'm leaving that, and I'm like, fuck it, man. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and stop by the bar again. I'm going to go hit the bar. going to hit the bar on my way home. So I do that, and a bunch of fucking weird shit happens. <laughs> a bunch of fucking weird shit. So I'll start with the first thing. Um, so there's this chick, uh, right? I'm, I'm just sitting at the bar, having my drink, staring at the fucking TV. There's like a, uh, they got UFC on, right? It's fighting. So I'm, I'm watching this fight, and, uh, and this fucking chick comes in, sits down next to me, and like, she, eh, you know, maybe a five, you know, just kind of average, kind of plain Jane, nothing, nothing special. But I'm just sitting there watching the fucking fight. And she out of nowhere, she's like, she's like watching these <laughs> these fucking couple of dudes grappling with each other. And she's like, this kind of gay, isn't it? <laughs> and I'm like, Are you, you're telling me. I'm, I'm watching this shit. Yeah, and I'm like, yeah, you know, it looks like these guys are trying to fuck each other. Looks like they're trying to fuck each other. And she's like, yeah, it's totally fucking homoerotic. So we get on that conversation. Uh, now I'm actually kind of interested, right? Ordered another fucking drink. Uh, got something interesting to talk about. So we start talking about, like, Thai kickboxing and boxing, right? Which is which is manly shit. There's, there's no gay. There's no gay in either one of those. The only time it gets gay is when you're dealing with the UFC shit and they're, they're going for the fucking the submission holds. And it, it, seriously, it looks like they're trying to have sex with each other. Uh, missionary style it's it's gay as fuck so I start getting along with this chick really good you know and uh, <laughs> so we're laughing we're fucking yucking it up and I see her starting to glance around a little bit 
and uh, and so I'm like, okay, what's going on here? And she's like, that's my that's my husband over there. And she's like, you sh probably shouldn't be talking to me so much. I said, what? The fuck? I thought, like you started talking to me. So I turn around and I look at this guy, and he's standing over in the fucking corner, uh, looking at us, and uh, and he's giving me this fucking weird eye. So I'm like, all right, what's going on with that? I'm like, look, lady. Hey, I'm having a good time talking with you. You started talking to me. I'm going to fucking talk to you. I don't care what this fucking guy thinks. So she keeps fucking talking to me. And I'm talking to her. And we're having a fucking good time. And I see her darting her fucking eyes over looking at her fucking husband. All of a sudden, this fucking freak comes walking over to us, right? And, uh, and she's like, this is my husband. And I'm like, okay. And uh, <laughs> it's like... He's, he's looking at me, and I'm like, do you have a problem with me talking to your wife? And he's like, no. He's like, you can talk to her all you want. Just make sure, you know, you hit record if anything goes down. And I'm like, what? What? I mean, it's that weird. The way I just said it sounds fucking weird to you all. That's literally the way it came out of this fucking guy's mouth. It's like, you can do whatever you want. Just make sure you hit record. Like, what? What? So what? Does he want me to bang his old lady out? And him fucking watching? All right. All right. God damn it. That's the end of this conversation with both of them. It sucks. I was getting a lot. I could over overlook that she wasn't the greatest looking. But I was hitting it off with her. Talking about this stuff. So anyway, that's the, that's the end of that interaction. I'm like, nope, 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 nope. I'm cutting out on this. I'm not getting involved in that weird cuckold shit, cuckold fantasy. Nope, that's not happening. So anyway, <laughs> here comes the best part. So this fucking rando fucking black chick just shows up out of nowhere. And this is like a white redneck bar. And in fact, there's a bunch of bikers in there too. Uh, it's a, you know, a fucking local MC or whatever the fuck. The place is, it's fully white. It's rare to see a fucking black person in there. So anyway, this uh, this kind of older black chick shows up. And she I see her kind of milling around. She's trying to get, like, free drinks off of people. Anyway, she ends up coming plopping her ass down next to me while I'm fucking watching TV, minding my own fucking business, right? So she starts fucking chatting me up, and I'm chatting her up, too. You know, it's a, something to do. Uh, kind of joking around with her a little bit. And, uh, and so... <laughs> I just say, at a, you know, I'm like, what, what the hell are you doing here in this, like, redneck bar? Hanging out with a bunch of fucking white dudes. And you know what she fucking does? She plays the black card on me. She literally gets offended. What are you trying to say? What are you trying to say? And then goes and tells the fucking owner of the fucking bar that I'm fucking harassing her. I swear to God, folks. <laughs> I swear to God. Oh. So... All of a sudden, I'm, I'm you know, I, I see her off and she looks like she's in a fucking off. I'm like, whatever. I'm still just here minding my own business, doing my fucking thing. And the fucking, like, the fucking owner of the bar goes over and talks to the fucking bartender. And the bartender already kind of has a little bit of a problem with me. I don't know what it is. Sexual tension or whatever the fuck. Uh, she's got this fucking tattoo on her neck that I called out one time. It's like weeb shit. And I, I was like, I was like, what is that? Anime stuff on your neck? <laughs> and she's like, yeah. And I was like, oh, God, you're a weeb. So that uh, fucking turned this bitch off. So she's already got a fucking grudge against me to begin with, right? So anyway, the owner of the fucking bar, I see him, the black chick's talking to him. He walks over to her, and she's like, did you just uh, did you just accuse her of being in a white bar? Uh, you know, like, like she doesn't belong here. And... I've already had some drinks, folks. And if, if you, you know how Puma Fist is, you come at me, I'm going to come at your back. So I was like, yeah, what are you going to do now? <laughs> and it, it, was, it was not the truth, right? I was literally just choking, joking around with this chick, this black chick. And, and she fucking, she went and played the fucking black card on me. So now I've got this fucking bartender that's already got a little bit of a fucking attitude with me, coming at me full fucking attitude. And so, yeah, I just puff up at that point. I'm like, all right, fuck this. Yeah, what, what now, what now? 
she she goes over and grabs my fucking credit card, cashing you out. We don't tolerate that kind of behavior around here. Like, oh, really? So you're going to worry about some fucking rando that I haven't seen here in fucking months that shows up. And me, an alcoholic who spends a lot of money here, you're going to fucking kick me out? All right. So I fucking sign the fucking check, right? All right, I'm getting out of here. When I get up, all these fucking bikers and the fucking owner of the fucking bar are all fucking staring at me. Like uh, this fucking crowd, like, you need to get out of here. And I'm like, what? What the fuck are you all going to do? Huh? Nothing. Bunch of motherfucking pussies. So I turned around and walked out. Fuck that shit. Fuck that shit. Bunch of virtue signaling liberal fucking assholes. That's what it is. I cannot stand that shit. It's awful. It's awful awful a fucking harmless joke right just just i was even being flirty a little bit you know like what you doing hanging around here with a bunch of white boys <laughs> how fucking oh god damn it people god damn it so anyway that's literally the first time puma fist has been kicked out of a bar <laughs> believe it or not i did get kicked out of a strip club one time uh, me and a bunch of my buddies were fucking lit there, and we almost got into a, a fight with a group of other dudes. That was different. Uh, but yeah, this was my first time ever getting kicked out of a, an establishment for being unruly. I'm fucking chill, folks. Like I said, uh, I've been telling you, you... Dude, I just hooked up with that Latina chick. They're calling me racist? <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. Well, I mean, I am racist, but aren't we all... I don't, I don't, like, go out of my way to fucking uh, be nasty to people, though. You know what I mean? Everybody's fucking racist. Dude, that black chick was fucking racist. She knew what she was fucking doing. She was trying to grift free drinks off of people and get fucking sympathy. Yeah, she took advantage of a white boy. That's exactly what happened. That's fucking racist behavior right there. And then all of those motherfuckers, right, at this fucking bar, same fucking thing. They're virtue signaling. They know. They know what's going on. They just wanted to avoid a fucking lawsuit because they knew the fucking black chick was going to fucking throw a fit if they didn't. It's fucked up. It's fucked up. Everybody's fucking racist. Chinese fucking hate everybody, right? <laughs> Indians fucking hate everybody. Uh, black people hate everybody. You know, it's... Uh, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? If they, if they only knew my fucking real power level? Shit. Shit. They're upset about that. What are you doing hanging out here with a bunch of rednecks? <laughs> Come on. Come on! Anyway, I'm thinking about uh, uh, maybe next weekend just showing up there and, and throwing my nuts up on the counter and be like, now what? I'm back. I'm back, but eh, it's all right. I got a couple other options anyway. I got uh, a couple of better places I'm going to go to. <coughs> Hopefully I don't get kicked out of those. So anyway, um, yeah, what a fucking weird weekend, dude. Had, had the win... Then I got the loss. <laughs> what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Anyway, I'm just fucking rambling here. It's hot as fuck as usual. Uh, I'm hungry. I think I'm going to go get some stuff and grill up some burgers tonight. That sounds like a fucking plan. Uh, got to go to work tomorrow. Tomorrow's going to be interesting at work. Uh, because we've got a new ops manager coming in. And this ops manager happens to uh, be... Um, one from another location where some of our employees that, uh, that we have now came from and he fired them. So this is going to get real fucking spicy. It's going to get really fucking interesting. There'll probably be a video about that this week. Anyway, other than that, like I said, I'm dripping in sweat. I'm fucking done. Um, have fun all. Puma fist out. Pfft.